Hey everyone, welcome back to my another new video. I hope you all are fit and fine. So today I'm going to fix this motherboard and this is a HP EliteBook 745G6 motherboard and uh, this motherboard is totally dead. So now I will try to fix this motherboard. So let's try to fix it. So this is a motherboard part number and this is an AMD processor. So now I will check all the required voltage and impedance step by step. So at first I will check main power rail. So I just need to set my multimeter in diode range and red prop is ground and black prop I will touch all the coils and uh, uh, MOSFET and current sense resistor. So at first I will check here this is a 19 volt so let me check under my microscope. So here as you can see this is a 19 volt current sense resistor. So just touch here and it's showing 0.582 that means this line is clear, it's not shot to ground. So now I will check this pad, this is a 12 or 13 volt power rail. So as you can see it's uh, given beeps, it's fully shot to ground. So now I will uh, check this line is shot to ground this this side or this side so someone already tried to fix this board as you can see flux here so let's open this pad first so So after open this pad so I can easily identify which components it's short. So let's check again. So as you can see this side if I check here there is no short. So if I check all of this pad this is clear it's not short. So this all side is clear, so short only this side. So let's check the MOSFET, this 4 MOSFET, one by one, okay, it's not short, it's also clear, it's also clear, it's also clear. So now we have left only this one, two, three capacitor here and this one. So let's open this, all the capacitor. Okay, so one more. So we open all the capacitor and now I will check one by one. Okay, it's clear. This also clear. This also clear. This also clear. But short is still short. So we can open this capacitor also. It's still sharp. Okay, as you can see, I removed this one, two, three, four capacitor, and after remove those all capacitor, the shot is not clear. This all capacitor connected with this uh, 12 volt power rail. So let me show you. As you can see, look at my uh, multimeter. It's showing 0 0.095. That means this line is a little bit short or leakage. 
any of components so if I plugged in as you can see it's a stuck only 0 0.005 so that means this line is short to ground so now I will inject voltage for my power supply and I will uh, try to find out if anything is getting hot so let's inject here in this current sense register and uh, as you can see look at my power supply it's not taking any amps I inject 3.20 but it's not taking any load so it's very interesting case so if I now I plugged in it's nothing so I will inject 10 volt in this uh, in this rail so let's inject here current sense register and as you can see after uh, inject 10 volts it's not taking load so now I will plug in again and as you can see this line is clear now and this orange LED also glowing here if I uh, press this power button it will turning on so let's sorry as you can see it's turning on but after a few seconds the problem is same so let me wait for a few seconds okay now let's connect again the problem is same so in this case I will change this uh, charging IC nothing to change here the it's the ISL nine five three eight eight. So let's change this IC. This is my donor board. Check the video again. Now it's three eight. I will plug it in and let's see. As you can see, it's now taking uh, normal amps and it's not drop. So let's uh, try to turn on. And it's turning on as you can see so now I will uh, wait for a few seconds then I will check again problem solve a lot so uh, 10 seconds is enough 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 okay let's plug in again 
And as you can see, it's it's still okay. So after change this uh, charging IC, our problem is solved. So it was very interesting case because uh, this 12 volt power rail showing short to ground. So we just remove all the capacitor, but problem not solved. It's all the capacitor is okay, and uh, then we just uh, change this uh, charging IC, and our problem is solved. And then let me install this heatsink ram and then I will check if this place is ok or not. Turn on. Okay, it's turning on. So just to wait for a few seconds. Okay, we have HP logo. So it's done. We successfully fixed this laptop by changing this uh, charging IC. So I hope you all are enjoyed this video. If you like this video, so please hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon. If you already subscribed my channel, thank you so much. So after that, Jara Bangladesh thi ke our video gulo view kore tha kya? After that, Dhaka baile thi ke Jara laptop service kora the chhun. Tarar shono shi jo nice the baile na matlab service center or tho ba apnara Korea service center matho mein aur thoda kaise laptop ki paata the paran. Amra service kore, amar apna dilke chik jeevan paata ban, chik amra service kore dilke paata bo. Trusted shatha aur thoda kaise laptop gulo paata the paran. Amra kuch sundar baabe service kore, amar apna kya amar laptop ki repair kore bo. तो आ ढाकर मोड़ पे जा रहा है तो तारा शोरा शुरू चल रहा है इस तरह ना मोड़ पे सर्विस सेंटर है इनिस्टेंट सर्विस कॉलेज में सब आइके बोलोगे